Uh, I never see you guys there. Uh, I was practicing to warming up um, today on J Vlogs. We're gonna be tinting Christopher's car. Um, we're not professionals, but we're gonna try. But I was warming up my knife skills. So this is what you gotta do before you tint the car. First, you gotta warm up. <laughs> All right, we're good. I'm ready. <laughs> so like I said, we're gonna tint this bitch. Some cars you can do it with the door panel on, but this car is a little bit harder because it's a little bit tighter clearance and it gets in the way when you're tinning like over here. But some guys they can do it like professionals who've been doing it for so long but tinting is pretty hard. It's something you gotta freaking continue to practice on. I don't think anyone is gonna be good at it the first like goal but it's doable. Yeah my um, sister is on the phone right now. FaceTiming, she's in Vegas again with KGM for vacation. Who cares about that? We're gonna tint cars today. Yo, so we out here fucking FaceTiming. What are you guys doing today? I don't know, shopping. I'm gonna look for some nice hockey gear. First things first, I'm gonna remove the door panel. A screw here, here, and then there's four screws on the bottom and one up here. And then you can take out the door panel on the LS430s. But the tricky part is getting the door panel out because it's like wedged in the seal. Alright, we got this bitch off. You always gotta try to be careful. You don't want to break anything, but uh, this is a little bit more confusing than regular cars. You're gonna need like soap water solution. Then you're gonna need some tools. I bought all these tools online, some tinning tools. There's just like a bunch of squeegees and cards. Then you need this um, razor blade right here as you've seen earlier. First things first, you're gonna spray down the window and then lay the film on. It's kind of a long process. It's gonna be a long thing to explain, so I'm not gonna go into too much depth. So here we go. All right, we're gonna need a heat gun too, so I'll show you why we need a heat gun later. We'll pump this bitch up right here. So ah! From the dog man. thing. Clean off the window. That's tough though. We got some 20% film here. Film goes in percentages, so it's like 5, 20, 50, 70, 10. I think it's 20% light passes through. I don't know, some bullshit like that. It's got regular, we don't got ceramic, that shit's too expensive. But spray this bitch down, put this film on. Cut that bitch off. That was a lot harder than look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up the bottom, cut this front side, and then scoot the film over like a quarter of an inch, and then cut this back side. After that, we're gonna shrink the film. Like I said, tinning is fucking kind of in depth, but I'm not gonna go too in depth. I'm just gonna give the quick steps. We're gonna have to shrink with the heat gun so it shapes to the window. They call it fingers, like this um, bubble right here. And then we're gonna cut the top and check back in a bit. Tool right here, need for hella flush guys. Trying to tint windows and you kind of roll your fenders. You don't want to chip the tape. I cut the film on this side, cut it on this side, and then I left a gap at the bottom. The water can drain, but see these fingers right here? This is what we're gonna shrink. Just like that, we're done. So we cut the top edge. I had to roll the window down. I mean, you're gonna have to roll it down anyways, but we have to roll it down a little bit further because Christopher got visors. Just like this, roll it down, then slide your blade right across the top of the window. Now we're gonna cut the corners right here, show you guys a trick. You get this hard card and line it up with the line and just cut the straight line right there. Yeah, we're gonna do the final touches on the window and almost apply the film. That 20% though. All right, here's our important tip. When you're cutting the blade on the windows and stuff, you're gonna wanna make sure your blade is sharp or else you're gonna cut into the glass if it's dull. But this razor blade right here, one inch razor blade is for, we gotta prep the inside of the window now, so we're gonna shoot it down with soap water and then clean it off. You gotta make sure there's no dirt or anything because you're gonna see it in the film if you apply the film after. Just shoot the window down and just take your blade and just go across it and clean it off. Alright, we got the film in but there's a little bit of bubbles, quite a bit actually, so hopefully it eats out. If not, I'm gonna have to shrink it and take it out with the heat gun. But It's a little bit harder this car than my GS because the seals are a lot tighter. You gotta tuck the film in the back, so it's kind of hard. But we're gonna do the quarter glass now. This one is harder to cut, but is probably the easiest to apply because you gotta cut to the actual shape of the window. There's no like tracing it out or anything, so it's like all freehand. But that was a long process for the back, but I think it's done. But just gotta work out some of these bubbles. Can't really see the comparison, but it'll be darker later when we got all the windows tinted. Now I guess do the fronts. 
Alright, uh, we're doing the fronts now. It's pretty much the same thing. Cut the front edge, scoot it over a quarter inch, and then cut the back edge. Alright, SPG photos coming. Yeah, so before we were really interrupted, like I said, cut the front, cut the back, shrink the film, then cut the top. All right, I fucked it up, so we're doing it all over again. I, I creased it because I had a hard time getting it behind the seals. Trial and error, baby. Just cutting the new film again, so here we go. Two thousand years later. All right, it's been like a good couple hours. Failed multiple times on each window. Now we're gonna do the back. Whew. Check it out. Yeah, after you tint your car, you don't want to roll your windows down for a couple days or else the seals are going to push the tint up. Yeah, let the glue sit and dry. Yeah, we're going to do the rear windshield now. I did my sister's one before. I had a hard time because shrinking the film was probably the hardest part for me because I kept creasing it. It's a little bit more different technique and the rear, you got to cut out every single thing. You can't like sit your blade against the stuff and trace it up. All right, first things first, you always got to clean off the window. Especially if your car is not washed, there's a lot of dirt on the window, so clean your shit off. Sensor baby, read it. Alright, we cut out the film precisely as best as we could. We're gonna try to shrink it. This is the hardest part right there. You have to shrink the film to the shape of the window. See, that's why there's all these gaps right there. This is the hardest part because it's easy to crease the film, and once you crease the film, then you're, you're fucked. You gotta start all over again. Here we go. Take a break. Finished shrinking the back film. It took like a good 15 minutes of just heat gunning the film and now I'm fucking tired. But there's like a couple creases, minor creases, and hopefully it doesn't um, come out too bad when we apply the film. But that's how it looks. Can't, you can barely see it's like super glared out right now. Hopefully when we apply it, it goes good. Now it's time to clean the back glass and apply the film. All right guys, we finished it up. There's a little bit of bubbles, but you gotta let it sit in the sun and evaporate all the soap water and then push out the bubbles. Probably tomorrow when we meet up again. We're gonna go see him Mondays tomorrow, eat dinner. Christopher, how does it feel to be tinted again? Feels nice. Not driving a fish tank anymore. But yeah, you guys need tinting. Fuck, don't ask me because I ain't gonna do that shit. Uh, but I only picked up, try to do tinting because I only run illegal tint. So I gotta take that shit out because we gotta do safety check every year and illegal tint, you gotta take, you can't pass safety check and that's pretty much it. We didn't really have too much explanations because there's so much on YouTube you can find. That's it for tinting. Christopher's LS. It's over. Peace out.